Welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing applications of genome editing in treating human diseases. In the last part, we are discussing about human cell engineering in diseases with respect to thalassemia. In this part, we are continuing this, this, that discussion. So, you now know about the various basic aspects of the disease and uh, today we are uh, discussing here some of the therapies uh, which are available for thalassemia or which are under development. So, let us begin with the conventional therapies where you have iron uh, sillation, then you have uh, pharmaceutical induction of uh, gamma globin. Then some of the advanced therapies includes allogenic uh, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and uh, also many uh, research uh, papers has been published in uh, potential nanotherapies uh, for thalassemia. Uh, one of the important uh, domain uh, that is uh, under growth in this area is gene and uh, cell therapy for uh, thalassemia. Uh, we will be trying to discuss some of the gene editing technologies uh, and some research which has been going on uh, in this respect. Before that let us go uh, uh, on to discuss some uh, of the symptoms the causes and therapeutic modalities of uh, beta thalassemia. So, in the center we have this uh, printed in red. So, these are the causes and symptoms and the various uh, therapeutic modalities are marked in blue. So, we know that there are certain mutations which lead to the disease and in this case you can see the mutations in the beta globin genes. Uh, which may be parcel or complete deficiency of beta globin and HPAA and it causes uh, anemia and then there is iron overload uh, leading to oxidative stress and uh, so on. Uh, accordingly, we have uh, various uh, uh, therapeutic uh, approaches. Uh, number one is uh, the prevention, uh, carrier detections, uh, molecular diagnostics, genetic counseling and prenatal uh, diagnosis. These are thought to be very, very uh, important for the control of this disease in a population. Then uh, we have options for gene therapy as already shown in the earlier slide and then uh, whenever there is blood transfusions, we have to uh, go for uh, anemia, oh, sorry, um, uh, whenever there is anemia, we have to go for blood transfusions. And then we have already shown you about the allogenic hematopathic stem cell uh, transplantation. Uh, and then uh, in certain cases wherever there is excess alpha uh, globin, we have to go for reducing the alpha globin uh, synthesis. And uh, if there is iron overload, we have to emphasize on the removal of excess iron using iron chelators, apotransferrin, then modulation of iron uh, absorption and then uh, also uh, apply uh, antioxidative uh, treatments uh, by supplying uh, exosomous antioxidants or activation of endogenous antioxidant uh, proteins. Then uh, in certain cases uh, to control excess uh, alpha uh, globin, uh, we go for the stimulation of ASVF production uh, using pharmacological uh, agents and uh, gene uh, modification. Then certain uh, corrections using uh, activin receptor 2 trapped uh, ligands or JAK2 uh, inhibitors and also induction of the uh, HSP70 separon uh, machinery uh, is uh, used. So, these are some of the strategies for uh, the therapies. So, uh, we have spoken about the blood transfusion and iron uh, sillation. Uh, transfusion of red blood cells is done in transfusion dependent patients to maintain adequate uh, hemoglobin level. Uh, thalassemia measure and intermedia patients require blood transfusions at regular intervals. Increased HV level uh, through transfusion suppresses the abnormal uh, erythropoiesis associated with uh, thalassemias. The target uh, HV levels in prolonged transfusion uh, therapy are uh, 9 to 10.5 uh, gram per deciliters, but higher HV values uh, 11 to 12 uh, are required in patients uh, which are also suffering from heart diseases. There is risk associated with transfusion therapy uh, as we know. Uh, it causes uh, alloimmunization and blood borne infection. However, advancements made in blood product screening and preparation has uh, 
help us in overcoming these shortcomings. Iron overload uh, due to ineffective uh, erythropoiesis is another concern of blood transfusion therapy which leads to liver fibrosis and other complications. If serum ferritin levels are uh, more than 1000 uh, nanogram per milliliter, iron selection therapy is administered. Subcutaneous or intravenous uh, uh, defroxamine, oral uh, deferiprone and uh, deferisorex are routinely used as iron uh, cilators. Uh, hematopoietic uh, stem cell uh, transplantation is another approach as we have already uh, told you in the beginning of the slides. Uh, uh, here allogenic uh, uh, bone marrow transplantation or BMT from an immunologically component donor is the best uh, present curative approach uh, for thalassemia. thalassemia. Substitutes uh, uh, ineffective erythropoietic stem cells with effective cells is the approach in this case. Uh, particularly patients younger than 40 years of uh, 14 years of age has more success uh, rate provided uh, that transfusion dependent patients those uh, does not uh, develop iron cell related organ damage. Severe complications such as infections, graft of horses, host disease uh, and graft failure are occasionally seen with uh, some uh, mortality uh, amounting to around roughly 4 percent. Then unavailability of fully uh, matched or uh, HLA human leukocyte antigens identical donor is a limitation of this uh, therapeutic approach. Need for long term uh, immunosuppression is also another uh, disadvantage. And the pharmacological uh, reactivation of human fetal hemoglobin is also one of the practical approaches for uh, therapeutic uh, approaches for uh, thalassemia. Epigenetic approach of inducing fetal uh, hemoglobin uh, production by using chemical compounds have been tried to control thalassemia major symptoms. Demethylating agent uh, 5 uh, azacitidine has been utilized for reactivation of gamma globin genes. Uh, 5 uh, azacitidine and its derivatives of small chain fatty acids when used along with erythropoietin were found to be effective, effective to some uh, extent. EPO has uh, proliferative and anti apoptotic properties. Uh, hydroxyurea uh, is a cost effective drug, drug that has been used successfully in some patients to reduce the frequency of blood transfusion required which increases in uh, gamma mRNA expression by 2 to 9 folds. Similarly, another compound hydroxycarbamide has been found to be uh, effective to some degree in certain thalassemia uh, patients. Hydroxyurea acts through multiple mechanisms. However, it is commonly proposed that cytotoxicity of hydroxyurea leads to cell differentiation and activation of stress response pathways that leads to increase uh, in the gamma globin uh, gene uh, induction. However, the effectiveness of these drugs necessarily depends on the genetic makeup of the patients uh, which varies from individual uh, to individual. One of the most uh, uh, interesting uh, therapy is the gene therapy approach. Uh, for transfusion dependent beta thalassemia uh, patients. So, uh, induced uh, pluripotent stem cells IPSCs are reprogrammed from somatic cells and uh, differentiated into uh, ACCs or the ACCs are directly harvested from the mobilized peripheral blood or bone marrow of a, a patient. So, these are depicted uh, in the picture as you can see and these are further manipulated by uh, ex vivo uh, maintenance or expanded by co-culture with a co cocktail of uh, cytokines and small uh, molecules. The harvested uh, hematopoietic stem cells are subjected to gene transfer addition by uh, lentiviral vector. The engineered uh, stem cells or ACCs are then applied to replace the inherited defective uh, beta globin gene uh, of a patient and restore uh, function of the erythroid lineage of uh, beta thalassemia. The three indicated uh, lentiviral vectors uh, encode the beta globin chain under the control of the human beta globin promoter and hypersensitive sites called HS of the beta globin locus control region or LCR as shown in this uh, picture. On the top you can see a lentiglobin uh, BB305 uh, uh, vector uh, followed by LGTC u 7 in the middle and uh, LV beta SH alpha 2 uh, in the bottom. So, uh, these are uh, commercial entities as you can see 
uh, from the trademarks uh, over here. So, on the top you see uh, these vector uh, where the current gene therapy drug product of the treatment uh, of non uh, beta 0 beta 0 uh, thalassemia uh, and in the middle is the uh, uh, modified uh, vector which encodes the beta globin chain and the puromycin and acetyltransferate cases uh, with an optional uh, suicide uh, gene as you can see over here. And in the bottom is uh, the vector uh, lent lentiglobin uh, BB305 uh, which is modified to express the uh, mere 30 based short hairpin uh, RNA or SH uh, RNA selectively targeting the alpha 2 globin mRNA the therapeutic option for uh, beta 0 beta 0 uh, thalassemia patients. What are the advantages and disadvantages associated with conventional gene therapy? Lentiviral vectors uh, contacting functional beta globin gene uh, was used to transduce autologous CD34 plus HCCs in the first successful gene therapy trial for thalassemia and uh, patient did not need transfusion for the next uh, 2 years. Uh, retroviral vectors contain long terminal repeats with efficient and universal enhancers and therefore are found to be very efficient for auto HCCs transaction. There are possibilities of retroviral vectors integrating in uh, proto-oncosines leading to uh, inaberrant proliferation and genotoxicity also a very high expression of genes may cause geno sex, uh, genotoxicity. Uh, lentiviral vectors do not operate by insertional gene act activation and are therefore advantageous over uh, retroviral uh, vectors. Globin expressing lentiviral vectors after transplantation of transduced SCCs could reduce the pathological indications of thalassemia measure and intermedia and uh, restore the normal differentiation of uh, erythroid cells. Uh, disadvantages associated with lentiviral vector uh, is that it may cause uh, febrile uh, neutropenia, epistaxis, uh, stomatitis, uh, pyrexia, irregular uh, menstruation and liver diseases in uh, certain uh, patients. It is difficult to contain all the required genetic elements required for gene expression in the limited size of the gene therapy vectors. The chromatin domain insulators may be required to ensure the precise activity of enhancers and this may be suppressed by the chromatin structure at the vector integration site. There is also the chance of altered transient expression in insertional uh, oncogenesis. Let us now uh, discuss about uh, gene editing uh, in uh, thalassemia. Uh, therapeutic uh, genome editing methods use the uh, HDR pathway for genetic repair or the NHEZ pathway for genetic disruption using the programmable nucleases like ZFN, TALEN and CRISPR-Cas9. Some of the strategies to tackle thalassemia using genome editing include uh, number 1 HVF for gamma globin induction using gene editing tools like targeting the HVF repressors, uh, reproducing HPFH mutations uh, recapitulates a mutation associated with a benign genetic condition and the second approach is the gene uh, repair strategies. Let us discuss about targeting the HBF repressors. Uh, down regulation of gamma globin gene is normally controlled by several epigenetic modification and transcription factors. By targeting the fatal globin repressors, uh, buff chromatin remodeling complex subunit BCL11A, SRI box transcription factor 6 or SOX6, uh, HBS1L, uh, MYB, KLF1 and zinc finger and BTB domain containing uh, 7A, uh, ZBTB 7A, the synthesis of HBF uh, can be restored. The genome editing technologies like ZFN, TALEN and CRISPR-Cas can be effectively used to reduce or delete expression of the HBF uh, repressors. However, various types of side effects may occur since transcription factors often have broad spectrum functions to regulate multiple target genes. Uh, here you can see a schematic diagram for the targeting uh, of HBF uh, uh, repressor and uh, in adults binding of uh, BCL11 
E to the proximal promoter of the gamma globin gene uh, cause uh, repression. KLF1 is a, a major factor in switching off gamma to beta globin production in adulthood which activates the expression of BCL11A, SOC6 and JB, JBTB7 to inhibit expression of uh, gamma globin gene. KLF1 as an activator also upregulates beta globin through direct binding to its promoter. HBF upregulation can be achieved by targeting erythroid specific elements using ZFN, Talon or CRISPR in the KLF1, SOC6, BCL11 in ZB, TB7 gene and their expression is uh, attenuated. Down regulation of KLF1 and BCL11 A transcripts lead to increased gamma globin mRNA expression and considerable HBF uh, production. However, targeting KLF1 is not preferable as uh, it has implications in other biological uh, pathways. Disruption of uh, GATA1 motif in the erythroid specific intronic enhancer of BCL. Uh, 11 A uh, is achieved either using nucleases or cytosine based editors uh, or CBEs and it determines BCL 11 A knockdown and consequently reactivation of uh, gamma globin uh, expression. Reproducing HPFH mutations uh, recapitulates a mutation associated with a benign genetic uh, condition. Hereditary persistence of fertile hemoglobin, a benign disorder occurs when a fertile globin promoter sequence spontaneously develops some mutations that cause HBF to reactivate in adult life. Small deletions and or single point mutations in the proximal promoter of the fertile G globin gene uh, causes these natural uh, mutations. Recently, uh, Attempts have been made to simulate HPFH mutations to reactivate HBF in thalassemia patients as therapeutic uh, strategy. By creating a point mutation mimicking hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin uh, phenotype via targeting the binding sites of repressors BCL11A and ZBTB7 to inhibit the binding in the gamma globin gene promoter, the HBF expression can be upregulated. So, here in this picture you can see that reproducing uh, HPFH uh, mutation, uh, HPFH mutation called British HPFH is caused by a point mutation of the 198 position uh, T2C in the promoter of the fertile uh, globin gene. The symptoms of hemoglobinopathies are significantly reduced in the thalassemic patients with this mutation as HBF expression levels increase by up to 20 percent. In an in vitro and in vivo combinational study uh, by Wienert and his colleagues, crispr castein mediated homology directed repair system was used to simulate the uh, 198 uh, T2C mutation in the fetal globin promoter of the clonal uh, wild type HUDEP2 cells for mimicking the natural mutation. This led to the creation of a new binding site for KLF1, the major uh, erythroid gene activator which further enhances the HBF level by elevating the mRNA expression percent of uh, gamma globin uh, from uh, 0.5 to 1 percent uh, to around uh, 4 to uh, 6 percent. Another type of uh, HPF naturally occurs through uh, 175 T2C single point uh, uh, mutation which leads to significant increase in fetal gamma globin to erythroid cell lines ratio. The elevated fetal globin uh, level in these individuals is related to de novo recruitment of the activator TAL1 to promote chromatin looping of distal enhancers to the modified gamma globin uh, promoter. In a study, the 175 T2C substitution into the A gamma and uh, G gamma globin genes 
Promoters of murine erythroid and human erythroid K562 cells was induced using talent based homologous recombination strategy. In both the cell lines, TAL1 could bind to the promoters and activate gamma globin in the mutated erythroid cells. The percentage of the SBF was significantly increased to uh, 16 to 41 percent of total uh, hemoglobin. Point mutations related to uh, BCL 11A and ZB TB7A, which is also responsible for reinduction of uh, HBF in the wild type. Uh, BCL 11A and ZB TB7A bind with the gamma globin gene promoter at the positions 115 and 200 uh, base pairs respectively and replace the fetal globin uh, gene expression. Martin and his colleagues used uh, CRISPR Cas9 technology to induce the homozygous HPFH associated mutations of 117 G2A, 114 C2A, uh, delta 13 base pair and uh, minus uh, uh, 195 C2G in gamma globin gene promoter of erythroid cells where BCL 11A and ZB TB7A usually binds to uh, prevent the repressor binding and alleviate gamma globin gene expression. Results from such experiments showed increased gamma globin mRNA and HBF levels in 117 G2A, uh, 114A and delta 13 base pair and 195 C2G mutated uh, population. Another strategy for thalassemia therapy is the gene repair strategy. Over 200 various point mutations are known to cause beta thalassemia in the coding sequences of the beta globin. The mutation can be repaired, uh, programmable nucleases are employed to carry out high fidelity homology directed repair. Many such repairs have been tried in human induced pluripotent stem cells and hematopoietic stem and progenitor cells. Uh, Kai et al. in 2017 tried to repair various point mutations causing beta thalassemia in an universal approach of single repair event using a wild type HBB gene complementarity uh, DNA. However, it has been very difficult to achieve HDR in human CD34 plus SPSCs as the DNA delivery efficiency is uh, low. To overcome the low efficiency associated with HDR based repair system, the non-specific NACEG strategy was also tried for long term repopulation of SSCs. However, NACEG caused mutations in the non-coding regions of the SBB gene resulting into unusual mRNA synthesis and immature termination codon uh, formation. Let us discuss some examples of uh, gene repair uh, strategy. Uh, gene editing was done uh, in patient specific uh, TAL IPSCs, thalassemia IPSCs uh, followed by differentiation of the corrected IPSCs into hematopoietic stem cells intended to develop a therapeutic option for patients lacking bone marrow match from potential uh, donors. A 4 base pair deletion uh, CTT at CD 4142 represents the most common thalassemia mutation in Southeast Asia. Uh, New et al 2016 desired a CRISPR Cas9 to specifically target this hemoglobin gene. Uh, CD41 oblique 42 mutation in patient specific uh, uh, thalassemia induced uh, pluripotent uh, stem cells or IPSCs. Single strand uh, oligonucleotides SSODNs is generally used as healthy donor template to correct the point uh, mutations and after correction the IPSCs uh, retain uh, pluripotency and multi uh, differentiation ability. The corrected IPSC is differentiated into erythrocytes, restoration of SBB protein expression is also uh, verified. And for this, uh, the CRISPR guide RNA uh, designing plays a uh, crucial role. Here you can see 5 uh, guide RNAs, uh, GRNA 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. Uh, designed uh, for specific uh, positions and uh, these are the target sequences of the 5 GRNAs. 
of the mutated HBB gene CD41 oblique 42 site. The gRNAs are designed to recognize the specific uh, mutation sequence of the HBB gene. The correction of HBB gene mutation uh, is carried out after transfection of uh, SSODNs as the donor template with Cas Z9 uh, guide RNA uh, into IPSCs. Correction of the genes of the IPS. 41 42 uh, cell uh, mutations. So, here you can see uh, in figure A uh, the CRISPR the targeting exon 2 del CTT and then in the uh, following figure uh, you can see uh, in B that we go for the transfection, selection, pickup, purification and so on. And this is the overall schematic view of the gene targeting strategy. Uh, for the human HBB uh, CD4142 uh, uh, mutation uh, where we have this uh, correction uh, of the HBB uh, gene. In the B we have the schematic overview of the gene corrected clone purification method uh, where uh, SIP purification uh, is uh, sibling uh, purification. Therapeutic genome editing by CRISPR Cas9 for uh, beta 0 thalassemia. Uh, CRISPR Cas9 has been demonstrated uh, for correcting the nonsense mutation that develops uh, beta 0 uh, thalassemia. Uh, this nonsense uh, mutation introduces a stop codon that leads to production of a truncated and non functional beta globin, leading to a beta globin phenotype as an unstable uh, beta 0 39 globin mRNA uh, is produced due to nonsense. Uh, mediated decay or called NMD in brief. The gene correction was carried out in erythroid precursors isolated from patients affected by this uh, beta 0 39 uh, thalassemia. Cells are cultured for 7 days in culture medium in the absence of erythropoietin and, and then they are transferred to an EPO dependent uh, medium in phase 2 to stimulate erythroid differentiation and hemoglobin production. After 3 days of, of phase 2 culture uh, as seen in this uh, picture, uh, the cells are uh, electroporated. Adding to the reaction mixer all the components of CRISPR-Cas9 uh, system. After electroporation the cells are maintained in phase 2 medium for a further 5 days and then analyze to evaluate the correction of the beta 0 39 thalassemia mutation uh, at various levels uh, by uh, genome sequencing and droplet digital polymerase chain reaction uh, uh, DDPCR then uh, transcriptomic uh, QRT PCR and RTDD uh, PCR protein western blotting and high performance uh, liquid uh, chromatography. The CRISPR Cas9 based design for the correction of beta 0 39 thalassemia mutation uh, is uh, shown uh, in this uh, figure where you have this uh, donor template and uh, these are the two exons 1 and 2 and the CRISPR Cas9 uh, construct uh, along with the uh, tracer RNA uh, which uh, targets uh, these uh, correction. The CRISPR Cas9 system binds by CRISPR RNA or exon 2 of the beta globin gene cutting the DNA near the protospacer adjacent motif uh, causing the formation of double strand break and inducing the cell to activate repair mechanisms like uh, homologous recombination. The cells will use a single strand donor DNA as a template to repair the damage. This allows the insertion of the correct uh, nucleotide sequence instead of the one containing the uh, beta 0 39 uh, stop uh, mutation. There are several genome editing based therapies for thalassemia which are under uh, clinical trial currently uh, developed by various uh, companies. 
For example, stem cell therapy CTX001 uh, uh, is developed uh, by a collaborative effort between Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR Therapeutics and it is in uh, phase uh, 1 and 2 where open level trial and then uh, ET01, a CRISPR edited blood cell, stem cell therapy uh, developed by Edigen, uh, China and USA. There is a first uh, enrollment of a patient in its uh, phase 1 trial and it uh, target 8 participants uh, between the age range of 12 to uh, 35 years. Similarly, you have ST400 zinc finger nucleus uh, edited cell therapy. Uh, developed by Sangamo Therapeutics and CRISPR Cas9 mediated beta globulin restoration in uh, HSPCs developed by Biore uh, Laboratories. And uh, you can see the various phases uh, they are uh, 1 and 2 and targeting around 6 adults between the age range of 18 to 40 years. And uh, the type of thalassemia being uh, targeted by each of these cell therapies are uh, listed in this uh, uh, fourth column. The first one is targeting transfusion dependent beta thalassemia and so on the other two. The CRISPR Cas10 mediated beta globin restoration is uh, targeting uh, beta thalassemia uh, measure. So, they also all belong to different types of uh, therapies. For example, the first one belongs to stem cell therapy. The second one belongs to the ex vivo autologous uh, HSPC therapy and the fourth one belongs to ex vivo autologous cell therapy and the last one belongs to beta globin restored autologous HSPCs in beta thalassemia meso patients and so on. Uh, so, we uh, uh, now know that uh, all the gene editing technologies like JEDEPIN, uh, TELIN and uh, CRISPR uh, have the potential to be utilized uh, for uh, therapy, uh, therapeutic applications uh, in, in thalassemia. Uh, in uh, certain experiments by uh, Zhu et al, uh, they found uh, both talin and CRISPR-Cas9 can directly and efficiently target, it, target the uh, ASBB uh, gene uh, for S2654 uh, mutation site as shown in this uh, picture. Uh, for these, um, they took uh, two pairs of uh, talents uh, and two sites of uh, CRISPR guide uh, RNA designed for in situ targeting of the uh, ASBB gene. Uh, talent sites are indicated by the uh, blue uh, lines and guide RNA sites are indicated by the red lines. The red nucleotide in the middle uh, sequence uh, here is the uh, 4S2654 uh, mutation site and you can see the uh, palm uh, adjacent motif as well. Uh, evaluation of talin and CRISPR Cas9 mediated DNA cleavage by a single strand annealing assay. Uh, is being shown in uh, uh, picture 9. Uh, here, uh, HEC 293 cells were separately co transfected uh, with one of the pairs of talents or one of the pairs of uh, CRISPR Cas9 and PSSA HBB 4S2 and TK Renilla. Uh, after 48 hours of transfection, the ratio of Firefly luciferase and Renilla luciferase activity was measured by a microplate leader, uh, talent uh, blank vector and PX330 blank vector were used as negative controls in this experiment. And the data represent the mean of plus minus SD of three independent uh, experiments. Through this study, uh, Ju et al uh, selected talents and CRISPR Cas9 uh, for the HBB intron 2, uh, 4S to 644C to T mutation and uh, uh, observed and observed efficient talents and CRISPR Cas9 mediated a homologous recombination uh, respectively. CRISPR Cas9 induced double strand breaks with uh, greater efficiency than talents. Uh, for gene targeting near the 
4 S2, 654 uh, C2T mutation site, talents mediated higher homologous recombination efficiency than CRISPR Cas9 in beta thalassemia uh, derived uh, induced uh, pluripotent stem cells. Moreover, hematopoietic differentiation of uh, mutation uh, corrected IPSCs under the OP9 co culture condition was induced and they showed higher transcription of HBB in contrast to the uncorrected uh, parental uh, cell lines. So, we see that uh, the gen editing technologies has a uh, big scope uh, in uh, treating uh, thalassemia uh, through uh, gene editing uh, technologies. Uh, thank you for your uh, patient hearing. Here are some of the uh, references uh, with the help of which this part of the lecture uh, and this whole lecture was uh, prepared. Thank you. Mm -hmm.